Very important if you are a do-it-yourselfer type of person and you do a lot of stuff on your cars and you want to make sure that you have a voltmeter. Here are some tips that you can use to prolong the life of your car battery. Do this a few times a year but after the battery is two years old then you might want to check it more often to catch it when it's going bad before you get stuck and you can't start your vehicle one day. I'm going to hook up the voltmeter, red positive, black negative, and then we're going to see what voltage we get. We're getting 12.8 volts. That's a good voltage range right there. If it's below 12 and a half, then it needs to be charged. You don't want to charge it in the car with the alternator because it puts too much stress on the whole electrical system. Another thing you're going to want to get if you do this stuff is a battery charger where you can take the battery out of your car and bring it inside and hook it up and plug it in to a wall outlet and charge it that way. Or if you got a garage, just hook the battery charger right up to the battery here and then run your extension cord to the plug and plug it in and charge it that way on your AC power at your house. If you take the negative part from the voltmeter and you put it right here, you can see there's a little bit of uh, acid that came out from the, through these vents. If you put that on there, sometimes you can get it. You can see a voltage. Look at that, that's crazy. See that? I'm not even touching, see, I'm not touching the negative terminal and I'm getting a voltage reading. One there too. Sorry about the sun, it's making it hard for you to see the voltmeter readings. You need to get a little bit of baking soda and water and put it right here. Not too much because you don't want it to go inside of here and get into the battery. Clean this off. Now just pretend that this little battery here is your car battery and you're checking the voltage because the car is not starting. It's got a weak start and you suspect a bad battery or a dead battery. Check the voltage get something like that that's no good and the battery is probably on its last leg even if you take it inside and plug it into your home charger and it takes a charge it's still gonna go bad soon and you should get a new battery after you wipe down the top of the battery with the baking soda not too much just a little bit then you need to check the water level in the battery and this you need to do at least two times a year. If you drive the vehicle a lot, you should check it more often because you'll lose water through electrolysis. When the battery is charging, you lose water. Make sure you wear safety goggles when you do this. Get a flathead screwdriver, put it underneath, and start to wedge open this cover. Be careful that you don't touch positive and negative. You don't want to short out the battery. There we go, got it open. You can see some more water there with electrolyte. You look inside each cell. Each cell in there looks full. Take my rag, carefully wipe around these holes. You don't want anything to fall into the holes. Just don't want to leave all this water in here. If the battery does need water, you need to replace it with distilled water only. Do not use any other kind of water. 
Do the same thing, open up the second cover. Look inside at the cells, make sure they got enough water. Where that plastic hole goes down and stops, that's where it should be filled to and also wipe off this water. When you're done checking everything, put this other cover back on the cells. Make sure that the terminals are nice and clean, there's no corrosion. If there's corrosion, you can take them off and clean them with baking soda, some water. If you have a newer vehicle, do not disconnect the battery because they have so many stupid electronic systems in it that disconnecting the battery could cause damage and cost you a lot of money and repairs. So this whole video here, you try this at your own risk. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. And if you have any ideas for future videos, leave a comment below.